again curls it's Yolanda Renee and today I'm going to be showing you how I cleanse and moisturize my hair while I'm rocking a protective style which are these poetic justice sprays um, so Everything, I feel like everything I do is so repetitive and kind of like the same for every hairstyle. Um, I try to keep it the same because I like simple, I like basics, and I don't like spending too much time and effort on my hair. We need a spray bottle because as you guys know, I love the lock method in a bottle. And to me, the lock method in a bottle, it helps moisturize your hair and it will cleanse our hair in this situation because I mean, we have box sprays. Um, so basically, I'm gonna start off with a water bottle with about this much water. I'm gonna add is aloe vera juice which I got this from Walmart, and this is also in my Back to the Basics video. And I don't have exact measurements for anything, I just do whatever. So I'm just gonna pour some of the juice into this bottle. So now our cup is about that full. So the next thing I'm going to add is, this is Eden Body Works All Natural, um, all natural Conditioner. It's the Peppermint and Tea Tree um, Collection. And it says it's a custom formulation of essentials oils to help strengthen and grow the hair this is super moisturizing um and there's sweet almond oil in here that helps seal in moisture castor oil which is great you guys know that's great for growing hair and thickening the hair um, chamomile to condition peppermint and tea tree essential oils to stimulate and treat and to me peppermint tea tree is like peppermint and tea tree oil they're like almost like cleansing oils because they really help like break up other oils um so i figured this will help um you know break up any product buildup or um dirt that's in my scalp and hair so that's why i decided to use this um brand and this is not a leave-in conditioner but because we're diluting it with water so much it should be okay and it smells so good so your braids should not have a funky smell because I mean this stuff is like potent so that's all I'm going to add usually I would add an oil to this as well but because this conditioner already has oils in it I don't feel like it's necessary so I'm just using a towel so it doesn't like splash anywhere so I'm just going to shake it up really good so now we should have a cloudy concoction. I want to moisturize my scalp and new growth, um, but I do not want my braids to get wet. Because of course when we we're doing these braids, we were very careful in not letting our hair show. Um, and I don't want any frizzies popping out of these braids. And also, our hair is braided with this synthetic hair and synthetic hair is basically plastic basically um so if we got water on our hair on the length of the hair of course our hair would try to expand because we have curly hair that's what happens is it tries to expand and so if it's trying to expand and it's so tightly wrapped around the synthetic hair then most likely we're going to have breakage so i'd rather have my the length of my hair a little bit dry um rather than it to just try to expand and break um, does that I hope that makes sense so and usually if it was my hair um, and I didn't want my hair to shrink or frizz or whatever I would just put my lock method in a bottle at the very ends of my hair and I would hope that that moisture would kind of like gradually just move up the length of my hair without it being like soaking wet so pretty much I'm thinking along those same lines if I'm going to moisturize my scalp and the new growth I'm hoping that it kind of like I kind of hope it's going to like you know kind of like move to the rest of my strands a little bit just to like give them just a sip you know <laughs> all right so we have our concoction all made so there's really no method as, as um after that i'm just going to start spraying um 
my scalp and kind of like move it around a little bit. Kind of like just spraying the parts and then massaging it in a little bit. It smells so good. And this feels amazing on my scalp. I get a lot of product build up at the, um, the front of my hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray some of this concoction on a Q-tip. And I'm just going to like use the Q-tip to kind of cleanse and wipe my scalp. Cause there's like, there may be like some gel builds up in here. And I'm making sure the cotton Q-tip is like really soaking wet. Alright, so now that we have it, um, our lock method in a bottle in our hair, now I'm just going to go in with an oil. And the oil of choice, of course, is my Allocate Naturals Essential Growth Oil. I also want to shout out the Eden's Body Works, Eden Body Works, because they are a sponsor for my event in New York on April 5th. So shout out to Eden Body Works. Love them. And I'm using the Allocate Naturals Essential Growth Oil, and they are also a sponsor for my event. I try to reach out to all of the companies that I really love to sponsor my event. I thought it was only right, you know. Um, so yeah, so I love this natural, um, this um, essential hair growth oil because there is already a applicator tip. So we can just start adding this to our scalp. I should try again. So I'm just doing the parts that I use to put my braids in and then we're going to massage this in and um, as far as cleansing the scalp and moisturizing the scalp I would um, only do this once a week but as far as oiling your scalp that's something that you can do daily Alright, so the last step um, of this process is to get our edges looking good. So what I'm going to be using now, this is also from Eden Body Works and this is their Control Edge Glaze and this is their Coconut Shea um, collection. And this is amazing. Look how clear that is. Like I can see through this. It's crazy. I think that is awesome. Um, and a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to use a small amount to slick my edges down. And this has to be, I think this is my favorite edge control. It used to be the curls control paste. Um, but this stuff has really just taking all my attention. I'm just going to use this to slick them down. Do you see that? I'm telling you, this stuff. So, so yes, yeah, so that is my routine on how I cleanse my scalp and moisturize my hair and scalp at the same time. So remember, you will only need to do this lock method in a bottle, cleanse and moisturize routine once a week. And then you can always go in with your favorite oil um, as much as you like. I would say once a day or every other day. You don't need to do it much. Um, yeah. Alright girls, that's it and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.